Hey guys, my name is Frank, and today I'm going to be playing Obelisk, which is a game made for a game competition. So, these guys down here made this game in like 72 hours, I believe, which is pretty, pretty quick when you look at like the graphics and the gameplay. I mean, these are some pretty nice graphics. Especially for a mobile game. The downfall is that the game is very short. And I think I'm just going to play through the entire game. Try to get through real quick. I don't really recommend this game if you want something to just play all the time. But I thought that it would be cool to review just because it is an indie game. And it was made in 72 hours, which is really impressive. So You interact with this obelisk thing. And it says a couple different things to you, but basically, like, if I click I'm Afraid over here, the white option, it, it basically just does nothing. It forces you to, I might not make it if I keep playing like this, but it basically just forces you to choose the yellow option eventually. So really, the only... The only thing you have to do is kill these guys, and that's all you really can do. Gotta kinda go through it. It's kinda cool, I mean... I'm glad they put that in there, even though it doesn't... You can't really affect the outcome of the game. It's a nice little touch with the piano music. Kind of like the depressing kind of dialogue you share between yourself and the obelisk. The reason I'm just like swinging my sword like this is because if you get too close to these guys, they can actually hit you. But as long as you're just like swinging your sword, they can't actually hit you. Gotta follow that yellow decision path there Get through these questions and the only other dynamic is this grapple hook because on this level you kind of have to use it to get across to the other side so you can defeat these enemies but otherwise it really doesn't serve much of a purpose I want to say this is actually the last stage, so it's a really quick game to just play through. It's not really difficult or anything, the controls are pretty good. I'd say for a game made in, you know, three days, it's not bad at all. And here we have the option to either sleep or stay in the void if you choose to sleep. The game just ends and restarts from the beginning. If you choose to stay in the void, I'm pretty sure the same thing happens. So this is the game. It's just endlessly you just defend this obelisk and defeat these weird little enemy guys. And just play. You just play forever, basically. Anyway, I just thought it was cool. I, I don't recommend you download it if you're looking for like a game that you just want to get really into because this is not going to provide you with enough gameplay to get into it. But if you want to just play something that's cool, it has cool graphics, and it's a good example of like some indie developers making a cool little game in, in a few days, it's almost inspirational to, to play it. But anyway, I just thought I'd review it, so I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Go download it on the Play Store. I'll put a link to the download in the description and have a good one.